For this evening's meditation, I want to show you two very different scenes. The first, from the Gospel of this, this evening's Lenten Mass, our Lord in all of his power. You see how Lazarus, his friend, is sick and near to death, yet he tarries just a little bit longer, even though he had been told he took his time getting to Lazarus. And by the time he has arrived, Lazarus was dead. He had been in the grave four days. Yet he comes and he goes right to the body. And with all the power of his divinity, he cries out to Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. And a dead man is raised to life. There we see Christ in all of his power, doing something that only God can do to give life to a dead body. Now, I take you to another scene. We follow our Lord. He had just been at the Last Supper. They had finished. He had instituted the Holy Eucharist, and now there was a grand procession as they sung their, as they sang their acts of thanksgiving. Our Lord enters the Garden of Gethsemane, and there he falls. He falls flat on his face. He prays. He find, finds no one to console him. Peter, James, and John, they are asleep with sadness. And our Lord, he finds his consolation in prayer. He goes through a death agony, and yet he still prays, Father, if it be possible, if only it be possible, take this chalice away from me, that I might not suffer so much. He says this prayer two and three times. Do you ever feel like your prayers are not being heard, that our Lord just wants to see you suffer when you ask him to lighten your load? Well, our Lord, when he prayed, let this chalice pass from me, he said also the words that we should always say, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Our Lord's prayer in the agony of the garden was answered. Do you know how it was answered? It was not answered in the way that he asked, or the chalice would have been taken away. Instead, God heard his prayer by sending him an angel, as we talked about earlier. The strength of God, Saint Gabriel, came and it was this angel that consoled our blessed Lord. There are many things that we can understand in the holy faith, but that God should be consoled by one of his creatures. That's a mystery that we may never fully understand, but a beautiful one. How did St. Gabriel console our Lord? Well, first, one author tells us he showed our Lord that chalice from a different perspective. He made him see in that, that chalice of bitter gall, he made him see the will of God and reminded our blessed Lord, you have always said 
my meat is to do the will of my Father. And then he showed the chalice once more to our Lord and said, and showed him all of the souls that would be lost if he refused this chalice, if he persevered in his prayer that this chalice be taken away, how many souls would have been lost and the world never would have been redeemed had our Lord persevered in that prayer. So the angel was sent to truly console him, to strengthen him, to take his cross. At the end, our Lord got up and he went straight out to meet the enemies. In that way was his prayer answered. May the holy angel Gabriel give you also the strength to meet your cross with boldness and with love and with perseverance. May God bless you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.